Hello, this is Dr. Liu. In this video, I'll show you how to uh, display uh, SDI 12 sensor data on your uh, Android smartphone. So I've just recently got this working. So here's the Play Store app. It's, uh, it's called Serial USB Terminal. I'm pretty sure a lot of other programs will work as well, but this one does claim that it works with the uh, FTDI uh, chip that uh, my adapter comes with. So there's an example here, it says FTDI device, so I'm happy with that. So I downloaded this program and uh, also in my smartphone settings I have to enable the uh, OTG. The OTG is uh, the uh, uh, this connection right here that allows the smartphone to, to connect to USB uh, thumb drives and other things such as these adapters or keyboard mouse so you must enable this. This is on my smartphone. It might be also on your smartphone as well. This is under the additional settings in my smartphone. I just enabled it. So with that enabled and this uh, program downloaded, here's the terminal here. And I, I did a few settings here. So for the left side, uh, you can go to settings. So um, start with serial. You, you want to set the boundary to 9600. Data bit 8 bit parity no stop it 1. These are all standard. So uh, then uh, I also want to send and uh, I turn off send with a new line because SDI 12 commands they end with exclamation uh, signs, not new line. So I disable the new line sending and then I was ready. So just tap that to connect. Okay, so now I'm connected. This is an older version of my uh, SDI 12 adapter. It's connected to this uh, uh, Decagon brand uh, 5TM soil uh, temperature moisture sensor. And now the new uh, brand name is uh, Meter Group, uh, same model number, 5TM. So I'm connected already. And I can actually type in some command here just to send, for example, to identify the adapter ZI exclamation sign. The I is, is capitalized. So if I send this out, see that it actually identifies itself right here as an adapter uh, with a certain version number. So that means the connection works. And uh, there's also these buttons here that I um, I just uh, customize. For example, if you, if you have a button here that says one I exclamation mark, that will then, uh, that basically asks uh, the uh, sensor at address one for its identification. So if you tap that, and that uh, happens to be this one here with an address one, it says it is a Decagon 5TM. And that is pretty convenient. You can just long click to, to change these. I have these two uh, starting with Z's so I can, I can read the, um, this adapter just to identify that it is able to connect to the smartphone. And then once I know they connect fine, um, I can just go ahead and use the other command. For example, 1M, this actually tells the um, sensor to collect data, and 1D0 that uh, sends the data back. 1.11 relative um, uh, electric permittivity, that's just air, basically air near some wood and some wires, otherwise it will be exactly equal to one. 23.5 is the temperature in degree Celsius. So this gives you a, a pretty good, easy way to, to check your, uh, your adapter against sensors, or if you want to go into the field and uh, do some field tests, that, that'll be really easy. Just uh, bury the sensor and then tap 1M, and then 1D1, 1D0, then you get a readout. And if you want more readouts, just to average, just tap these two more times, you got three sets of measurements. So this makes it really convenient you don't really need to connect this to an Arduino or something else, Raspberry Pi, in order to just read uh, the sensor data. This adapter makes it really easy to read data almost on, uh, on all smartphones. Um, I've not tried the, uh, the Apple iPhones, but uh, I suspect there's a similar program there that, uh, that does the same thing as, as this Android phone app that can connect to um, the serial port created by this adapter. So hopefully this video helps you uh, with, with a new 
a way to, to explore your SDI-12 sensors with my adapters. Thank you.